In this quick video, I will show you how to add autoresponders to ads to list. So ads to list actually does the job of sending your leads from Google ads to your autoresponders and to add the autoresponder list, to add the autoresponders to ads to list. We use the official APIs of the autoresponders. Nearly every autoresponder has an official API. So you can connect ads to list with the autoresponder using the official API. And whenever new leads come to your lead forms on google.com, on Google search, AdsList is going to grab the lead form and use the official API system of your autoresponder to get your leads to the lead to the list on your autoresponder. It's pretty easy, but it's different for every single autoresponder. Let me show you a brief summary of how it's done. It's not particularly difficult. Just click on add, add autoresponder, click on autoresponders menu, then click on add autoresponders. And then you need to select what autoresponder you have. So depending on what autoresponder you have, things will be different. For example, let's say I'm integrating SendGrid. So just click on the autoresponder name and SendGrid integration is done on the basis of API key. So when you go inside of SendGrid, like I'm going to go into my account. Let me see if I'm signed in. All right, so I'm inside of my SendGrid account. Click on settings, then click on API keys. And it's going to show you the API keys that you've already created. You can create a new key by clicking on create API key. And then you can decide what's the access level that you need to give it. Now, we don't need all full access. You just need to go to restricted for for ads to list, you need to go to restricted and all we need is marketing campaigns access. So you can just switch it on. Hold on. Yeah, we need marketing and marketing campaigns access. And you can just switch it on and it will be able to submit leads to your list. If you are having any problem, switch it to full access and you will be able to submit it easily. Now, based on whatever you put in, you, you know, an API key will be generated. It's gonna show you the API key only one time. So it's very important that you take that API key, paste it, and then take it to take it to add the list, paste it, and click on authorize. So as the list is going to authorize it, and if it is authorized, if it finds the account valid, it's gonna add the it's gonna add the autoresponder to your autoresponder list, and then you can use it in your campaigns. Now, different autoresponders have different workflows. Aweber has something slightly different. So in Aweber, just select Aweber, then click on authorize, and it will ask you to put in the OAuth details. You will need to put in your Aweber login name and password. And once you click on allow access, it's gonna authorize itself with Aweber, connect to Aweber, and you will be able to add your autoresponder. To, you'll be able to send your leads to the Aweber list. So basically, it's quite similar in every single autoresponder. Some of them actually also require something called a redirect URL for the OAuth, and you might need to put this inside the autoresponder because they will ask for a redirect URL, and this is the redirect URL that you want to give them. So it's right over here, either on the top or in the bottom of ads list autoresponders page. You will find it when you click on add new autoresponders. And if your autoresponder is asking for an, a redirect URL or an OAuth URL, you can use this and it's going to work perfectly. And of course, if you, there is any kind of integration that has a change or you need some help, welcome to talk to a support. We're going to help you get things sorted.